is Mizan from Doric. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to Integromat from Doric and send data to any other platform using Integromat. So here I'm on Doric website builder. My Integromat also open. Also, we are gonna save the data on Reatable. So let's get started. First, we need to add a form to receive the data from user and send it to Integromat. To add a new form, click add new element as we have subscription form and contact form. You can send data to Integromat from both of, both of these element. We are gonna use subscription form and here it is. First, we are gonna add a new field, first name. Okay, that's right. And come back to form configuration, select Integromat. Now we are gonna connect to Integromat using webhook. I'm gonna show you how to connect using webhook and uh, come back to integromat dash dashboard create a new scenario and search for webhooks and select the webhooks not wp webhooks just webhooks select continue and then select webhooks select custom webhook if you don't have any webhook it you won't see anything in the list if you have any existing webhook you can select from here we are gonna add a new webhook i'm gonna name it doric to your table and leave other field as as it is and save now it is listening to we have the webhook link also it's listening to the webhook if you already have uh, any saved webhook it will be something like this you have to click like redetermine data structure and make sure it's listening like this and we are gonna copy this link and come back here and pass it and click here to send some test data so we can confirm it's connected yeah successfully determined it's connected so okay so now we are gonna add your table click the plus and add another module and select your table here it is your table we are going to create a new record on your table so i'm not connected to your table so i'm going to connect to it first my your table connection i'm going to you have to put the api token as my in account i have my api token i am going to paste it here continue and it's loading the base we have the base here the base is doric test so we are going to select doric test and table you can like see doric subscriber uh, you can select a table doric subscriber and yeah there's two field email and first name so you can see we have sent email first name and last name from doric so you can select email here and first name here so that's it now you can click on ok yeah, save the scenario and run it just activate it it's activated now the your table scenario is created and activated now come back to doric and if, if you want to customize the success message you can customize it or just uh, click and publish the website we are gonna publish it doric integromat and doric integromat dot doric dot io and publish the site and here it is our url now you can see uh, we are gonna submit some data here for example test at example.com and john and subscribe thank you for subscribing and it should be here yeah you see test at example and so on and we can try another email like test2 and uh, jane subscribe thank you for subscribing and here it is so you can connect with any other services or platform using integromat and send contact form or subscription form data from doric to integromat hope it will help uh, if you have any question feel free to ask me
Thank you so much.